Welcome to the California Immunization Registry training video, Generating and Understanding Ad Hoc Reports. Part 1, Ad Hoc List Report Training Objectives, an explanation of the benefits and reasons for generating ad hoc list reports in care, demonstration of how to set up multiple ad hoc list reports, and list of additional ad hoc list report examples which can be created in care. The Ad Hoc Reports function in CARE allows a user to create customized reports. Filters related to specific patient and immunization factors can be added when building a report. For example, filters help to narrow a search by date, vaccine group, gender, and various other factors. Keep in mind that Ad Hoc Patient Reports only include data for patients who are active within your organization. The ad hoc reporting function produces two types of reports. The ad hoc list report produces lists with information about selected patients. The ad hoc count report produces counts either of patients or immunizations. There are many reasons why care users would choose to use ad hoc reports. The most common reasons include identifying lists of patients who received immunizations from a recalled lot number and generating a count of immunizations administered during a certain period. Ad hoc reports can assist organizations in ensuring data quality and can be exported to a spreadsheet or viewed as a PDF report. To generate an ad hoc list report, click on the ad hoc list report link listed under the reports on the menu panel. The first example of an ad hoc list report is recalling patients that received immunizations from a recalled lot of DTaP vaccine. In this scenario, the criteria is also going to show that my organization is using the care inventory module. For this example, first name, last name, vaccine lot, and vaccination date are going to be added to this report. Select the items by double-clicking on the desired items from the left column or by highlighting the item and pressing Add. Select the single item by which you would like to sort the report, then select the radio button to determine ascending or descending order. For example, by picking last name, the report will come back to you sorted by the patient's last name. Under the item to filter on drop-down list, select an item. For example, if you wanted to identify patients that received a particular immunization, select vaccine. More than one filter may be selected. Under Comparison, select a word from the drop-down list that best describes the type of comparison you wish to make. For a vaccine, select Equals. Under Value to Compare to, choose a value from the drop-down list. For this example, use DTAP. Click Add, Save, Edit. Notice the selected filter is now listed at the bottom of the page. After all criteria are selected, click on Generate at the bottom of the page. On the Ad Hoc Status Report page, notice that our report is currently processing under the Status column. Click Refresh to update status. Once the report is complete, click on the List hyperlink to view the Ad Hoc List results. Ad hoc list results are now available both in CARE and also as text, spreadsheets, and PDF reports. In the next section of the results, CARE displays the applicable report number, identifies the date the report was run, the user who generated the report, and the organization in use. CARE also displays the filter conditions used for this report. Each aspect of the ad hoc list criteria are provided for review and will print at the top of the ad hoc list PDF. At the bottom of the page are the ad hoc list report results. As you can see, CARE identified 16 active patients associated to my organization that received a DTaP immunization. To view the same results in a user-friendly PDF report, click on the display as PDF located in the upper hand, right hand corner of the page. At the top of the report, all report and filter conditions are displayed. The ad hoc list results are located toward the bottom of the page. 
To print this report, click on the printer icon located on the PDF toolbar. To return to the Ad Hoc Status page, click on the Back button located in the upper left-hand corner of your page. To generate another Ad Hoc List Report, click on the Ad Hoc List Report link. Our second Ad Hoc List Report identifies patients that received immunizations from a recalled lot number. This time, the organization is not using care inventory, meaning immunization records were selected from the From Other Inventory option. The process of setting up our ad hoc list report is very similar to our last example. First name, last name, vaccination date will be selected to display on the report. The report will be sorted by last name in first to last order. Since this example is not using the care inventory module, our filter conditions will be different. The first filter is vaccine equals DTAP. The second filter is vaccine lot other inventory equals test DTAP 10. The lot number must be typed into the field located to the right of the value to compare to and to the left of the calendar icon. To run the ad hoc list report, click on the generate button. At the bottom of the page are the ad hoc list report results. One patient received three administrations from the recalled lot number administered and entered from other inventory in care. There are many other ad hoc list report examples that can be generated in care. Generating lists of patients that had refusal comments entered into care, generating lists of patients that are all in the same zip code, or generating lists of patients that received immunizations on a certain date. Part two. Ad hoc count report training objectives. Explanation of the benefits and reasons for generating ad hoc count reports in care, a demonstration of how to set up ad hoc count reports, and a list of additional ad hoc count report examples which can be created in care. The ad hoc count report produces counts of either patients or immunizations. This information can help your organization place more accurate vaccine orders based on the number of patients or immunizations given at your organization during a specific date range. To generate an ad hoc count report, click on the ad hoc count report link listed under the reports on the menu panel. To generate an ad hoc count report, First, you would select whether you want to count patients or immunizations. For this example, I'm looking to count the number of active patients by gender that were vaccinated after 8-1-2016. Since I am separating by gender, the default selection of patients is correct. You can select up to three items to display from the left column by either double-clicking or highlighting the item and clicking Add. This will populate the right column with the criteria you wish to display on the report. The group sorts the data. For this example, the only filter that I need to select is vaccination date is after August 1, 2016. The filter determines which data displays on the report. After all criteria selected, click on the Generate button. The ad hoc count results are now displayed at the bottom of the page. As you can see, there are 1,844 patients vaccinated after August 1st, with the results broken down by gender. To view these results in a user-friendly PDF report, click on Display as PDF link. To return back to the CARE application, click on the Back button in the upper left-hand corner of the page. To generate another ad hoc count report, click on the Ad hoc count report link. 
For this example, the organization is preparing to order vaccine for the first half of 2017. Before the order is placed, we would like to know how many immunizations were given by this organization in the first half of 2016. The ad hoc count report will provide me with this information and in turn will prevent my organization from ordering too much vaccine. For this example, since we're looking to count the number of immunizations, select the Immunizations radio button. I would like to arrange the results by vaccine. The filter for this example is vaccination date between June 30th, 2016. After the filters have been selected, click on the Generate button at the bottom of the page. The ad hoc count report is currently processing. Notice that CARE also stores recent ad hoc list report output as well. By clicking on Refresh, the ad hoc count report status will update. To review the ad hoc count report results, click on the count hyperlink. Note that a count of each vaccine administered by my organization for the first half of 2016 displays at the bottom of the page. As with the ad hoc list reports, you can view this report in a user-friendly PDF report by clicking on the display as PDF hyperlink. There are many reasons to run an ad hoc count report in CARE. Some additional examples include a count of active patients associated to your organization, a count of patients under the age of six that have two or more immunizations entered into care, a count of immunizations given on a specific date, for example, the number of flu vaccinations given at a clinic. In summary, the ad hoc report function in CARE allows a user to create customized reports. The ad hoc list report produces lists with information about selected patients. The ad hoc count report produces counts of either patients or immunizations. For additional CARE support, you can reference the CARE user manual located under the Forms tab on the CARE login page at the URL listed on the screen. Or you can contact the CARE Help Desk, phone number is 800-578-7889, or email at carehelpdesk at cdph.ca.gov.